wave, oh my gosh, peace is the best. A request for an extra salt manifesto from an uppity, uppity, super left, anti deterrence, little jewelry wearing, hair wrap bearing, idiot peace monger of the reckoned. I just want to talk about who your own is for a second. <laughs> <laughs> They're amazing. <laughs> new novelty. Inspired by emerald exhales, twisted by paragraphs, and too many creative outlets. Look, I gotta be real. I got high and I started thinking about nuclear bombs. <laughs> I sat there, YouTube names of Japanese cities and rationalizations of shadow builders, men of chemical and utility. And sat there, and sat there, <coughs> frozen by the newness of my disgust at our capacity to immolate and radiate and just destroy everything. I literally think about that. Everything. I'm guessing evolution is nostalgic. Craving devolution and a new petri dish full of post-nuclear bacteria and a blank slate. And then I thought those 1920 modernists were wrong. This is the wasteland. This is the cruelest month when we sit with our online chats and graduation hats and forget that we've sown our poisons into submarines like seeds, lurking as the Persian Gulf flows. So it goes. I used to think the Manhattan Project was an experimental theater company, but it wasn't. <laughs> Some Mario mushroom cloud with the master's degree. He says the chance is one in 50 that I'm going to explode in my lifetime. And I'm trying to Google that just to verify, but I can't find a yes or a no, so I'm frozen wondering what I ought to do with these emerald exhales, because it's looking more and more like we're just going to radiate into ashes, black blasts of plutonium particles, and hillside billboards of cement pressed bodies nursing warhead hangovers, watching YouTube playing the chat roulette. Mm. It's not funny. <laughs> That's the thing. It's not funny. I can't live with an inevitable end. An inevitable emolition of Shakespeare and every photograph and every monument and document and tiny eternity we try to muster while we breathe. I noticed the other day that the blank slabs of marble in the commons rotunda are reserved for future wars, awaiting name engravings. But there's not enough room. I have three cousins who live underwater on nuclear submarines. Kevin, Jeff, and Danny, 18, 19, and 25, watering their bombs like flowers, tending to their tethers like the kid Jeff left behind, or the muscle milk they bathe in because they're babies. Hmm. Poked into hiding holes of submarine apocalypse, swimming underwater with whales, eating plank people like plankton until they explode into mushrooms and the world ends. And the birds sing. So what I'm trying to say is you need to text me back because there's a precedent, because there's an urgency, because when the world ends, I might not have my phone charged. And by then, it'll be too late to discuss the energy we get when two human masses collide.